Hi guys, we're out here. The biggest collab YouTube has ever seen. <laughs> about to break the internet. About to break the internet. Kim K, get your ass out of the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah guys, we're here with iSnag TV, Hooked Off The Grid TV, the homies. Hopefully we get on some big ones, we're throwing some top water, some frogs, uh, some swim baits. We'll see what happens. Have no need to fight tonight, tonight. boys so we out here trying to figure out what they want it's just after front blew in i mean right now we're having a weird april but i ain't complaining because we need some rain it's pretty calm fish aren't there we saw one bust uh i was throwing a top toe but i changed it to a, a regular hollow body a little more subtle that's how calm it is and then throwing a swim bait with of course trust the old jig get the job done Guys, I keep I missed this one twice already. It must be small or something, I don't know. First blood boys. Freaking dink or eat it. Yeah, a little dink. No. Alright guys, I'm gonna give a little quick tutorial on how I flip a jig, pitch a jig, mainly pitch and mainly skip, but I don't really flip. There's a difference between both. Pitching is this look like that. Flipping is pulling the line back and forth. And then you already know what the skipping is. Um, skipping is right there. So how do I do that? You gotta pick. I try to skip anything. <laughs> you ask any of my buddies, <clears throat> I'll try to skip any freaking lure. If I can do it, I will do it. Cause it just gets that lure that no one can really skip into an area no one else can get to. Opens up a whole nother playing field. So having this skipping into in your arsenal is a must. So what I do is have about that much line out, it's probably maybe 10 inches. And when you go, I have my hands like this, kind of like a golf club. Uh, you gotta have the right, it may work for other people differently, but this is how I like doing it. Like this, and then roll. So what you wanna do is roll your wrist. So you see how it goes down, this is my wrist going down. So when I go, I roll my hands upside down whichever you are, right-handed, left-handed, you want it to roll. And basically the rod plays an extension of your arm, the rod tip. So imagine this is your whole arm. Okay, you gotta have some imagination, all right? And basically when you roll cast and you're picturing yourself, you're skipping a rock, all right? But then you're like, wait, your hand's over here, you're used to this. No, that's your hand. The rod tip is your hand, this is your arm. So when you go, boom, you roll cast. And whenever you, once it hits, starts hitting the water, you bring it back. You see how my hands continue rolling back and you're letting line flow out. So your gears, um, your gears have to be set just right because if not you're gonna whoosh, blow it up man and you're gonna just be pissed off annoyed but don't get me don't get me wrong it's gonna happen a lot whenever you first start learning but if you can picture as a, your that's your hand 
this is your arm you're skipping a rock I like to use the best thing I like to skip is either a 3 8 jig or a half ounce but like I said I can skip most things that have a flat surface anywhere on it spinner bait chatter bait swim jig swim baits um, crank baits a little harder um, if you do it just right you can do it but um, definitely possible and so whenever you're starting you want to pick something that has a flat surface so look at that this uh, zoom z claw has a pretty flat surface on the back and you can sometimes whenever you skip a lot like all day the hair the jig kind of opens up and it opens the back up so you can skip even easier so hopefully that helps you out on the skipping part now, now whenever I flip or pitch a jig you want about this much line out and this is where you another flick of the wrist flick of the wrist but um, so what you want to do is it's like a pendulum you have it right here some people like to spring it forward I don't like to do it because it jolts the line and it could give you a bad bird's nest but flick all right so once you get that down so you just practice it flicking your wrist flicking your wrist back and forth like that and then whenever it hits to get it to go in the water and go real subtle in the water what you want to do is go and right when it hit the water you stop the line and you pull the rod tip back so you're bowing and going up bow and go up and slow down like you kind of like what you're doing is the baits coming down like this going up and then when you stop it it stops like that like the other end of a pendulum and then it goes kisses right in just like so so hopefully those tips help you out guys all right guys it's been a tough day um I'm heading back up river yeah, but I gotta take a leak first Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I think it's 16. 16, little guy. No, he just freaking caught me off guard. He had it, I think, and he was really under my boat. <laughs>
Nice one. Oh, bro. Got on film? Hell yeah. Hey, y'all go. They gotta check out uh, Hooked Off the Grid TV. I'll leave a link in the description, y'all. Oh, they're all spaced out, yeah. Gotta go on. <laughs> yeah, old girl. I see daddy before I gotta go home. What I'm gonna do is take a picture of you. Destroyed it. Did you get that all in film? Oh. 